if you would, uh, stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we do have uh, Pastor Ginsman here um, for, uh, to, to help us with the invocation today for Peace Lutheran Church. Thank you. Okay. I invite you to join me in prayer. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and, and care that you give us and for your many and abundant blessings. We thank you for life itself and, and for the freedoms that we enjoy. Lord, we learn in scriptures that you have given us governing authorities that promote peace and order and justice in our lives. And we thank you for our, our system of government. And, and we so we pray this night for our mayor, for the, the various levels of, of city of officials, and in particularly we pray for and ask your blessings upon the city council. We pray for the agenda set before them tonight. We ask that you would grant them wisdom to govern wisely and to have that desire and the will to do what is just and right for the good of all of your people. In your powerful and holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Blessings to you. To you. All right. Uh, we'll call first. Ms. Alt. Here. Mr. Bodkin. Here. Ms. Durbin. Here. Dr. Fellner. Here. Ms. Frank. Here. Mr. Richard. Here. Ms. Zier. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Leary. Auditor Satterfield. Here. Director of Law Palmer. Here. Treasurer Sparks. Safety Service Director Ward. Here. Thank you. Um, as uh, I'm sure everyone's read the, the uh, minutes, uh, regular minutes from uh, August uh, 23rd. Uh, can I get it? I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes from the August 23rd meeting. Mr. Watkins, uh, uh, second by Ms. Durbin. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. uh, we also had a, a special meeting on August 30th. Um, can I get a motion to approve this? Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes from the August 30th special meeting. All right. Should be by Mr. Richards, second by Ms. Seeger. Um, all opposed? All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Small. Try to switch it up on you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, we do have uh, one adjustment to the agenda of legislation today. Uh, Dr. Palmer. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to add ordinance or ordinance 2022-74 to the agenda. Thank you, Dr. Palmer. Second by Ms. Durbin. Uh, Ms. All. Yes. Mr. Bodkin. Yes. Ms. Durbin. Yes. Dr. Feldman. Yes. Ms. Frank. Yes. Mr. Richard. Yes. Ms. Zeger. Yes. All right, very good. Uh, Mr. Uh, Richard. I make, make a motion to uh, approve the amended agenda. Motion by Mr. Richard. Second, all second, second. Dr. Feldman. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I don't have anything from the citizens to, to address council today, so we're going to move on to uh, legislation. Ordinance number 2022-74. Ordinance number 2022-74. Entitled Ordinance Amending Ordinance Number 2021-114, Permanent 2022 Appropriations by Appropriating from Unappropriated Funds in the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 Fund and Declaring an Emergency. Thank you. Discussion. I think normally this would have come through finance, and I would have lateral the ball to Mr. Satterfield. So that's what I'm going to do. 
We received $526,986.90 in ARPA funds this year, none of which was appropriated. In the last couple of council meetings, you have already passed ordinances to spend the money. So I thought we might want to focus. Very good. And it's, it's appropriated in two different things. The $80,000 helps take care of the, uh, the, the dam project, the engineering of the dam project, that with the money that's already appropriated. Uh, with that gets us to the 200,000 that you need for that. And then the 446 we put into capital lines. That doesn't mean it has to stay in capital lines, but figuring that that's that much money. There's still stuff to do, but the good news is it's appropriate. So, but we needed to do that. Again. Ms. Eager? Um, if there's no Session. I'd like to make a motion to pass ordinance number 22-74. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just, we have to make a motion oh, to I'm suspend. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to do. Make a motion to suspend, yeah. to yeah. suspend the rules on ordinance 22-74. Motion suspended by Ms. Zeger, second by Ms. Durbin. Roll call. Ms. Zeger. Yes. Ms. Durbin. Yes. Dr. Felmer. Yes. Ms. Frank. Yes. Mr. Richard. Yes. Ms. Alt. Yes. Mr. Bodkins. Yes. Okay, so now I'd like to make the motion to pass ordinance 2022 that's set up before. Motion to pass by Ms. Seeger, second by Ms. Durbin. Uh, any further discussion on this ordinance? Roll call. Ms. Seeger? Yes. Ms. Durbin? Yes. Dr. Fellner? Yes. Ms. Frank? Yes. Mr. Richard? Yes. Ms. Alt? Yes. Mr. Bodkins? Yes. Motion carries. All right, moving on to uh, other business. Um, there's a there's a liquor permit on other business today uh, from Marlin Foods LLC. It's a DBA save a lot. Um, does anybody have any questions or or, or comments on that? Mr. Does, does anybody know what I know they have beer out there, but is this beer wine or is it Just so they can have wine? Yeah. Wine and wine It won't be high grade alcohol. But I mean, it's just yeah. yeah. Uh, this question, I'll ask the question I always ask on these. Uh, the uh, I don't know if the police chief or who is acting police chief at the moment. Did he have any? Concerns or objections to this would be Nikki. I don't know if you've heard anything on that. Anything? I didn't think it would be, but I always ask. To be honest about it, guys, I didn't make inquiries. So oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's I right. don't want to yeah, speak out. Yeah, I understand. Historically, there's no problems out there. I have to think back in time, there used to be a bar out there two doors down from it. So, yeah. Um, if anybody would be objectionable, I think the Jehovah's Witnesses not. Okay. Okay. I was just going to say that um, the other, the save a lots, I, I'm thinking they might just want to get in line with. I know that the one in Ashland is a very small area and, like they said, very limited amount of beer and wine. Mm -hmm. So well, they've expanded their beer out here. Couple of times. Pardon me? They the expanded line? their beer. Yeah, the oh, same okay. It used to be a real small area and then it's gone. So they had an existing permit for years and years. Oh, yeah, yeah, they had it for okay, years. so I mean, it's, yeah. it's oh, okay. a little added. Yeah. It's, not, right. it's not a new permit. So they for sell. Yeah. yeah. I think they kind of picked that stuff up when viewers was having sure. problems. You know, they were, they were trying to help the customer. All right. So there's no other discussion on that. Um, move on to um, do other other business. <laughs> Ms. Um, I just had one comment to make. I've had a few people ask me about um, spray for mosquitoes again. Do we know if that is going to happen again um, this year or not? This what was. We did spray. A couple weeks ago, I think it's been a couple weeks ago now. But unless the health department 
indicates they have traps and they, they check the traps regularly. If there's some indication that we need to spray again as we get later into the season and it's cooler in the evenings, there's far less activity. Um, so yeah. at this point, I wouldn't anticipate it um, unless the health department gives us direction otherwise. Okay. Mr. Dawkins. Yes, I, had, I was approached by two people in the last seven days. The first meeting I had was over the telephone. The person wants to be remain anonymous, but he wanted to tell me to thank counsel. He thought that we were doing a real good job. He said he talked to a lot of his friends. He said, I know you can't move as fast as you like sometimes. He said, thank you. I thought it was pretty good. So I was happy to hear that. And then the second one was I was approached by a man. 20 minutes of pure hell. <laughs> it didn't get so satisfied with yeah. counsel. That, he <laughs> wasn't satisfied with anything. Not even the sun coming up. I don't believe it. <laughs> but I didn't know what to say to it. It's my fault, I guess, that the prices are going up and everything like that. And I said, why don't you go out and make complaints? He says, I won't do that. Every time I do, I get in trouble. I said, go ahead and pause it instead of negative all the time. You might get something done. But I've known him all my life. He's never going to change me the way he's been. So, but I was happy to hear that uh, some people are pretty happy with what we're doing. So, they thought we had a pretty good council going on. That was true what he said to me. So, good. thank you. Well, thank you for that. Does anyone have any anything else? Um, I was hoping maybe uh, maybe Miss Ward could walk kind of walk through uh, a little bit. We've had uh, I think a couple calls on on. Uh, Yards uh, needing mowed. Um, you know, this this is towards the end of the summer, and and uh, and and so I was I was just hoping maybe you could walk through the process of um, of uh, mowing. Uh, if if mowing's not taken care of like it should be, what 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 the kind of the process is in that? If there's a yard that someone thinks is out of compliance, call the building inspector, or there's a form online or on our web page that you can submit. Um, the building inspector will go out, take a look at the yard, send him a letter. They said he has to send it certified mail. After we receive the green card back, they have 10 days. We have to give them 10 days. Once the 10 days pass, we can get our contractor that we bid out every year. They go out and mow it. At the end of the season, um, forms are sent over to the auditor's office, and the cost of the mowing is, is put on their tax card. So they are assessed the, the cost. However, you know, we have a house that hasn't been lived in in 15 years, and you know the reality is it just goes on there year after year after year. At this point in the season, most of them should be on Eric's radar, and the contractor does mow them regularly once they've been identified as a problem spot. Um, I think he goes every two weeks. So most of them, I think we've probably sent this point in the year, maybe 40 grass letters, 40 addresses. Um, but if there's one that's not been identified, certainly call the building inspector, go online and report it, and he'll get the letter out. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Does anyone have anything else? Um, I know that we have some upcoming meetings that um, we want to share with everyone, so I don't know. You might want to go first there. Meeting tomorrow night at here. Right, I have a question for Mr. Palmer. Oh, that's me. <laughs> How is the um, the outside law firm? Have you have you talked to them, or do you know what they're doing? Or the outside law firm in regards to the interface with the Ohio EPA? Mm -hmm. Yes, in fact, we. I was toying with the idea of sharing with you the fact today that we got our second bill. Um, it's very modest, the amount that we've been charged. Um, they are continuing to do what they need to do, but I think in the last month we had a bill for $300. Um, it's the majority of the work that they were doing has been done, I believe. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Dr. Feldman, uh, finance on the 21st, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Is he here? 
Um, please fire in health is this person to this thing at 7 p.m. Thank you. Uh, if an Open Development Committee is uh, Tuesday the 20th at 7 p.m. Thank you. Sure. Good Do we have any other meetings this month? Utilities isn't until October. I think it's on the 5th in October. Yes, it is. Law and order is it will be next month, also on the fourth. On the fourth next month. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, Mr. Satterfield. Does anybody have anything else before we move on to Mr. Satterfield? All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Your Bi-weekly reports, uh, expense report was 69% of the anticipated expenses for the year. Uh, we're 68% on anticipated revenues for the year. Um, pages one and two in the statement cash position. Again, there's really no big issues for us. If you look, uh, Mr. Palmer actually brought up the airport grant, the 205 line is the main one, but we're anticipating Grants coming into that line, so that will even itself out. Transfers have not been made in the street department, police and fire pensions. Um, the health department is being worked on by Eunice and Olivia to get that uh, STD fund 241 straightened out. It's this, that's just a transfer issue. Um, I will tell you that the 409 fund, the Port Authority, will have legislation in front of the Finance Committee. Um, on the 21st. The only thing that hasn't been done with that is the transfer from the general fund to the Port Authority. It's there, it's budgeted, we just haven't done the legislation, so we didn't have that to clear that out. Um, we're hanging in there. Uh, that's just like I said. It is not the use of things. <laughs> Palmer? Nothing in addition to a lecture a minute ago. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I don't have anything else to add as well. I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't have anything else to add as well. Is he going to end up? Um, I was just going to say if there's nothing else, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. To, to adjourn by Ms. Zeger. Second, five, five. Yes, I'm all in favor. Yes, any of those? I couldn't hear. Seven, seven, eight, 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 eight. Yeah. 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 Julie, what time is it? Five, eight, eight, eight. Yes,